What is up, you guys? It's Bolton98, and we have so much stuff to talk about, including the Modern Warfare 3 campaign, so let's hop straight into it. So yes, it does look like we will be getting a full-ledge campaign mode coming with Modern Warfare 3 instead of just an added-on Modern Warfare 2 campaign. It does look like this campaign is going to be uh, different loadouts, different paths through the mission, so more of an interactive campaign, which will be the first time we actually see Call of Duty do this. It looks like you'll actually be able to pick whether or not you want to be a good or bad guy or kind of play your way through there. We've also gotten multiple campaign trailers. We know Makarov's in it. We know Price is in it. And we know a lot of other guys who are in the actual trailer and campaign so i'm super excited to see just what this campaign offers especially with the fact that we kind of are going to be playing like a raid style campaign mode like you're going to be having your own thing and it seems like it's going to be super cool and i can't wait to get my hands on it and actually try it out because i haven't ever played a game where i've had this much you know ability to kind of run my own type of uh campaign like i kind of get to choose how I want to play the game, which I can't wait to see how that works out. The maps and everything look so cool uh, for campaign mode. Like, it all looks really good and really well done. Especially these dark rain maps look super cool. The lighting looks good. Um, but like I said, we already know Price, Ghost, um, Gaz is in it, uh, Makarov's in it, of course. So we know the basic of the story is going to be Russia and U.S. or, you know, Task Force 141 and Russia and those are will be who we fight and stuff. So I can't wait to see how this story mode goes. I think it's going to be super interesting and super cool. And especially with now the fact that we get to pick if we want to be stealthy or literally just play Call of Duty running gun style will be a super cool take because you get to see if maybe cutscenes are different based on the route you run or if maybe just, you know, gameplay small differences happen. But it would be super cool to see what all they offer with that. Because we've never had it like this. Where I mean, we've had times where you could, you know, it says take the guy on the left out, not the guy on the right, and you take both out. We've seen things like this, but this is our first time actually seeing when we're going to be actually meaning to make a choice. Like, they're going to obviously give us a choice, silent or loud, and we kind of pick what we want to do. So I can't wait to see how this all changes and impacts the gameplay for everyone, um, not just myself, but everyone else playing. Like, I would like to see if, you know, someone does the stealthy way and I do the run and gun way, what all exactly will change as far as, like, cutscenes and other missions and stuff like that. Like, then do they recognize me as a run and gun instead of a, you know, someone who just kind of is playing the way I am? So it just kind of depends on how that's going to work. We also have confirmation that a new no Russian mission will be happening. We just don't know where it's going to be happening. So that's something that is a little weird. Like we don't know where it's happening. We just know we are going to get another no Russian mission. So I think it's going to take place at Terminal again. But then again, we're not 100% sure on everything. So based off what we see, it looks like he starts in an airplane. And it looks like he takes his pistol and goes for the cockpit. But I could be completely wrong in this assumption or prediction so don't don't put all your marbles on what i'm saying here because i have no idea i am just taking a hunch just like everyone else does but i'm super excited i want to know my campaign guys down in the comments are you guys excited about this campaign tell me why because i haven't played many campaigns in call of duty besides like the og modern warfare 2 2009 campaign where you got like the museum mission at the end but besides that i've not played really a full campaign in modern warfare or call of duty in that matter since then so i'm super excited to see what you guys think uh about this if you guys think it's a good thing bad thing and let me know do you think we should do that it's a good thing we're doing these instead of raids or do you think it should be raids instead of campaign let me know all that down below thank you so much for all the support we've been getting on the channel with all our videos and shorts and stuff i do appreciate it we are so close to 700 subscribers i think we're not really that close we're like 75 off or maybe 80 off but we're closer than i would ever assume so thank you guys and if you don't mind subbing liking and sharing the video if you think it was good i'll see you in the next one peace